Uh, okay. I didn't want to record. <laughs> okay, let's start. Yeah, let's start again. Yeah, from the scratch. Okay. Mm, the subscribe subscription. Anyway. Yeah, this is uh, I think it would be final video for the forty client EMS because the, yeah I start the start the studying the forty client because my project yeah I cancelled because the price the price of the license is a little bit higher higher and then each yearly subscribe was just 25 but it, the price is uh, yeah, a little bit high that's why yeah, I gave up just yeah uh, and license the license the one of the problem is license is uh, where it consume even the it's not it consume even when it the uh, client register it already consume until you deregister the client so I don't want to do that uh, manually deregister yeah already consume other license yeah, some other license they just to consume when they are with the active client. But no, this is not. And then the good thing is if you have a domain controller and then your the company already has the domain group, yeah, you can easily install or counter. But this is for the internal, the corporate uh, network. But if you have the but the, if the PC is uh, outside of the corporate, I think you need to do something more. You need to do something more. Um, maybe, maybe polish. You can make uh, the, if the user is uh, EMS is installed, they can only access uh, some resource. But if you have the more, if you the client, the employee, the client is installed the EMS, you can access all resources like that. You can, I think you can control like this. And the problem, and yeah, antivirus. Yeah, you can, yeah, antivirus. Is not bad. Yeah, ransomware also good. And then I don't know. I did not use. And then USB controller. Ransomware USB controller. Yeah. The basic function are included. Sandbox. What is the difference between the cloud-based malware and then? Sandbox. What's the difference? Yeah. I don't know. Sandbox. Not bad. I risk port client sandbox. I don't have one. Yeah, quarantine media. Exclude file from trust source. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, specific folder. Okay. And web filter. Yeah, if uh, the web filter is almost the same uh, as the Fortigate, I think it's reliable because I use Fortigate well with the uh, for for the web filter. But I did not test in detail. But I think it's uh, reliable, trustable, yeah. And application firewall also, I think it's good. VPN. I wonder it. Uh, 
the filter. I wonder it effect on the also yeah maybe HTTPS need apply. I'm not sure because some yeah in the 48 they can inspect uh, if you don't use the full inspection I think it will use uh, maybe yes yeah in case this like that the if you want to block the YouTube YouTube com bot Tomoa, you if you wanna block the Tomoa, HTTPS if you use if you don't use uh, the full inspection, you cannot block this kind of uh, yeah address because uh, just the certificate inspection they cannot uh, inspect diagnosis yeah the link and then pack it yeah anyway. <laughs> And then uh, a problem is log, yeah, in the client, log generate and then each useful for the diagnosis, but log, analy log analysis by the port analyzer is a little bit not, not in intuitive with basic computation. Maybe there is more option to the directly the, yeah, pointing out the problem maybe you can you can yeah what time seven yeah and scanning system occur every one minute uh, okay start again <laughs> Yeah, for <laughs> okay. Yeah, log analysis by forty analyzer is not intuitive for me. If you configure, maybe it would be better. But for me, mm, so so. Uh, scanning system occur every one minute. So if there is a virus or there is if a user did something, yeah, after one minute it will be uh, applied the polish. There is software inventory, but I don't know. I cannot see the hardware inventory. Maybe there is a hardware. Yeah, no, there is no hardware inventory, I think. System? No. It's a little bit a little regret. Regret for, yeah. It would be better if we, there is. Maybe in the future they will update, upgrade, update, yeah. And then my environment test is, uh, yeah, this port client is 7.0, and then 3.4.3 client, and then 40 OS, it's 48. You know, 48 is. Uh, One hour and the port analyzer, yeah, 44 one gigabit per, per day. Yeah, I think uh, it would be enough. Yeah, it would be enough for the test. Not bad. Okay, that's your that's your my uh, test. Maybe in the future, maybe I will uh, keep working on this EMS if there is uh, opportunity, but for now, yeah. It was a good the opportunity to study the Zero Trust system. Okay, thank you for watching this video and then see you.